Phillips Orange looks to atone for what ended up being a hugely disappointing season. After getting off to a 25-0 start, everything went downhill after an overtime loss to Boston College. They ended the regular season 2-4 and, and were eliminated from the ACC tournament in their first game. They didn't make it out of the opening weekend of March Madness, losing to Dayton in the second round. Now they have to replace three integral players in C.J. Fair, Tyler Ennis, and Jeremy Grant, who were three of their top four scorers and their Mr. Everything point guard. Rakeem Christmas will be back to bring his interior shot blocking presence to their highly acclaimed zone defense, and Trevor Cooney will be asked to run the offense with diaper Andy Callum Joseph. After the 25-0 start, the Orange ended up 28-6 straight up. They went 19-4 at home and 9-2 straight up on the road. Against the spread, their numbers look good until the final 11 games of the year, going 3-7-1 to finish against the line and ending the season 15-13-2. Even with 19 home games, they were only 8-10-1 against the spread, so betting on Syracuse was a tricky proposition. Totals are exactly what you would expect them to be with the zone defense in force. 10-17 on the over-under, going 6-10 at home and 4-7 on the road. Coach Joe Boheim begins his 39th season at the helm of Syracuse, and he had no qualms stating he was clearly disappointed that Ennis and Grant decided to come out early and head to the NBA. Cooney and Christmas are the unquestioned leaders coming into this season, but this team is not short of talent nonetheless. Incoming freshman Caleb Joseph has said all the right things to the media when it comes to being asked about filling Ennis' shoes, stressing he is not the same player that Ennis was. They are completely different, but both have the ability to drive, score, and be unshellfish on the court. The 6-10 freshman Chris McCullough will make Rakeem Christmas' job a bit easier up front with his size and defensive drive, which is why Boheim was thrilled he decided to call the Orange Dome his home. This might be the first time Syracuse does not appear in a top 25 preseason poll since the 2009-2010 season when they barely cracked the rankings. Join us at BetDSI.com for the best Syracuse Orange basketball betting options, including futures, props, and live in-progress betting during the games.